Hi, this is Spencer Colgan, and welcome back to my wallpaper and painting channel on YouTube. Brad holes. You know those holes, they're the little dents you see in your trim. When the carpenter is done, hanging your molding, your crown, etc. Let me show you the holes, actually the dents in the wood, that you've tried to caulk and the caulking shrinks in there and you can always see them, they're annoying, nobody likes them. Let me show you up close. So these are the holes that I'm talking about. You go over them, and then you still see them. You do your best and you just live with them, right? Well, maybe not. Depends on what product you're using. If you're using caulking, it has silicone in it. It's rubber. That stuff shrinks. Is there a product on the market that will fill these holes without shrinking? So there are generally two products on the market that a lot of people go to. Some people will use joint compound and see that it's actually a complete mistake to do that. They fill it in, it's flush with the surface, and then it shrinks. Generally though, the pros and the do-it-yourselfers educated by pros come down to one of two products wood filler or a spackling by Drydex that was made for this type of issue. Well, I'll just get right to it. I highly recommend this. Despite the fact that Minwax says that it will not shrink, or actually it says resists shrinking, it resists it. Well, so do I. That doesn't mean that I don't shrink. And cracking. This one is actually the product that has been proven to be most reliable in this circumstance. This is not the best, okay? Drydex is my go-to product when I'm filling in these types of holes. Well, one of the benefits is that when it's moist, it's pink, and then it dries white. You can see it starting to turn from pink to white up there. But here's the other thing. When it turns white, you're usually working on molding that's either primed white or painted white. So that can prevent the problem when you go to paint your molding. Because once you fill this in, and I leave it just above the level of the hole, the dent, I leave it above, then I come and I sand it. You want to take a piece of tape and put it there so that you know that you have to come back and sand this. Okay? When it dries, I'll come back and sand it and show you how well the product does. I think you would agree that they could have done a better job on the crown, right? So here's what I, I do in this case, okay? It looks terrible, but when you just apply this simple technique it looks a heck of a lot better crown molding is one of those things you leave to the pros right now rather than sanding all of this later on i'm just going to mimic what a sanding sponge would do let me just show you my sanding sponge so you get in there when it's dry like this but on these angles here these corners if you use this too much, you'll start to make them rounded. You don't want to take away this angular profile here. So I'm going to opt to use my wet cloth. Therefore, with a microfiber, I'm just getting off the excess, the material you'd be sanding anyway. Okay, and I don't want to take it out where I need it. So I'm just using my finger to get in there. Okay, and clean it up because I don't want to sand it. Okay. Now you see how I left the pink where it belongs? And when this is painted, it's going to look a heck of a lot better. Obviously right now, it looks a mess, right? Okay. So now, just to show you one of the mistakes when do-it-yourselfers, which might be yourself, attempt to uh, fill in crown molding or any other molding for that matter. This is caulking. Let me tell you, 
You can't sand caulking, it has rubber in it. So when it dries, unless you left it perfectly, which would be great, you know, to fill in this, this uh, 45 miter joint. But if it's not perfect, look what you're dealing with. Now to get that out, you have to scrape it, which means you're going to take some of the surface off necessarily. You scrape it, you pull it, and then what you realize is that it's, since it cannot be sanded and since you cannot scrape it out on this, what is this, concave, this, this uh, angle here? It makes it where you, the best you can do is try to sand off any rough spots in this and make it look its best because once you start attacking that with a tool, even a plastic tool, this is modified board, you, you're going to dent this, okay? So with this, I put in my dry decks. And of course, I don't want to be dealing with sanding that when it's dry. So I just want to force it into where I want it with a wet rag. Essentially, I'm sanding it now, right? So this way I don't leave any, any rough edges that need to be sanded. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around. Okay. That, believe it or not, with that little left there, it just gets in there, fills in that gap, which is what the original idea was, and it'll look a lot better when it's painted. Now this is so bad that I'm gonna take the chance and cut this because I can feel the silicone in this. You know? I mean, I just can't get this out any other way. Okay, that came right back at my eye. Gotta wear eye protection. Literally, if I were not wearing eye protection right now, that would have been in my cornea. I kid you not. That came right back into my eye. And my eye was open, like I saw it hit my, my glasses. All right, well, that's why we wear safety protection. I thank God that I didn't get that in the eye. Did you ever escape an injury where you, you know without a doubt God was protecting you? I did. Not a hair falls from your head. Not a single ugly hair falls from your head without the permission of the highest authority in the entire universe. Think about that. Recently, I was thinking about the amazing protections in the human body. I'll just share this with you as I'm doing this. The epiglottis. If you think about that contraption in your esophagus or wherever it is, the purpose of that, that valve to keep you from aspirating your food. I mean, think about that. Pretty amazing, right? Really is. I mean, where did that 
thing come from? Was it banged into existence? Pretty good. I never saw one come about, and I saw a lot of bangs. Thunder, falling trees, crashing windows, falling buildings. I'm from New York. Never saw something fall into place like that. Okay. Now a half an hour later, this is where we're looking. Okay. Now, this is brand new, but I've broken it in. I've squeezed it, I've used it. You don't want to be taking a brand new one and pulling this against your crown. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. about the dry dex is that it hides very well. You don't need to prime it. With a little sanding and the right stroke of the brush, the product is excellent.